Oh, that sucks. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode with Bearded Bassin and Tim Petro. He's here. Um, we're up here at Comanche Lake. You know, it, it, it's an interesting lake. I live probably 20 minutes from it and I don't come to it very often. Most of the time when I come up here, it's bad juju. My boat breaks down. So that's the reason why I don't come up here a lot. But we're up here at Comanche. Um, the trout have been being planted like every weekend. Um, so we're going to go up here and, and target some of those big trout eaters. We're going to be throwing big 8-inch huddlestons and depths 250s and uh, triple trout lures and trying to get one of those big fish to eat a big bait. Um, hopefully we don't have to result to picking up the fairy wand right away. Um, but we're going to go out here, we're going to start on the islands and see if we can mark some fish and uh, get to fishing. So hopefully it's a good day and hopefully there's some mondos caught. Stay tuned be going over these points of these islands trying to locate fish that are schooled up chasing bait. Hopefully that's what they're doing today. They make it easy for us to find them. To be on both sides of the plane, which is cool, but it's in the water column. It's not on the bottom. I don't know if it's a big fish or if it's, it looks like bait fish or maybe. See like, you can see that there's like a creek channel or something right here. Yeah. Because there's rills on the bottom. So you know that water flowed through there creating those little rills. It's crazy. We're in 40 right now, 40 feet, but it goes up to 10 feet where the grass is, so it's just a slow slope coming down, so if we figure out where they're at. Alright, let's make another move. We're going to go over to that island over there. We're going to go across over to that island over there. Well, we've been out here for, I don't know, close to an hour now. And as you can see, I got the fairy wand in my hand because throwing big baits hasn't worked so far. Haven't even gotten a bite on a drop shot or a Ned rig either. So still trying to figure it out. Still trying to find where the heck these fish are at and what they're sitting on. There's a lot of trout out here. Seeing trout jump all over the place, but we're just gonna keep grinding away, hopping from point to point till we find something. Oh. Where the heck are you? Oh, there's a big old fish right there. It just swam off to the left. Where the heck did it go? sucks. Uh, like 15 bucks. It was one of mine, so. But it's shallow enough here that I can see the bottom. Not seeing a bait though. It was the one time it probably got bit. Did you see that fish? No, I didn't. Oh, oh man, that sucks.
Huge. Huge. Donald Trump of some baits. Well, while I'm waiting for this giant eight inch Huddleston to sink to the bottom, I'll tell you about how crappy our day has been. Uh, we've been fishing. We started off main lake, jumped around the islands, couldn't get bit um, through big baits, through finesse, through Ned rigs and drop shots and just couldn't get bit. Whether we were crawling it or throwing a reaction bait or throwing a big swim bait. And we came back here to uh, up the river um, by the bridge and actually we had like, I don't know, probably 20 minutes left to go and I was like, alright, I'm going to pick up the big hut again and, and give it a throw. And of course, got a bite and missed it. Um, you know, I'm new to this whole swim bait gang, so it's a, it's a learning curve. And we're going to give it the rest of this 10, 15 minutes and see if we can't catch a fish. But if not, I'm sorry. I tried. <laughs> and, as always, any cast could be a giant, right? All right, guys, well, that's a wrap for the day. Just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a breakdown. It was a little bit random of a video, but I did have an idea of what I wanted kind of going into this. Recently, my dad came into a large quantity of big swim baits from a buddy of his that he hunts with, uh, gave them to him, said he didn't use them anymore. And so I was like, you know, it'd be kind of cool to, to get out and film a video throwing big swim baits. Now, precursor, as you can probably see from the video and how I throw them, like, I am completely 100% brand new to the whole big swim bait game. And I was sorely disappointed in understanding how much there is to learn. I understand, I watch a lot of videos on guys that, that throw big swim baits. It's 100% a completely different game. And I understand that much better now. I have a respect for those guys that go out there and do that. It's, it's not easy. Chucking these, you know, big eight inch Huddlestons around is it's pretty difficult all day, um, especially without getting bites or without seeing followers or just simply just absolutely not having any luck. But I just kind of wanted to give you a breakdown on some of the stuff that, that I got that I was throwing today or um, during the video. Uh, the main one that I was throwing was this uh, eight inch Huddleston. It's a ROF 12 rigged up what they call Butch Brown style. And I'll kind of give you a close-up of the bait right now. It's got, right now, forgive me, I know that you guys are going to rail me for saying and for using braid to hook up this treble hook to the back of the swim bait, but I understand now that you're supposed to use wire and whatnot, but uh, I have it hooked up Butch Brown style right now, and this was the main thing that I threw all day. Uh, Lake Comanche has a lot of trout plants and a lot of trout swimming around. I mean, they were jumping all over the place, so I felt like this was going to be the bait that that uh, gave me the most chance. And it was actually the only bait that I actually got bit on all day. Got bit probably 10 feet from the boat and just about tore the rod out of my hand. Didn't even know what hit me. So that's one of the baits that I was throwing. But in this box right here, I mean, there's just a plethora of baits. Things that, like, when I opened up the box, I was like, man, how do people throw this? I mean, look at that. That is a Depths 250. SS. That is a big giant slide swimmer. Uh, I don't know the exact color of this one right here. I'll give you a close up right now, but it looks like a striper. And I can 100% foresee this getting eaten on the Delta, whether by another striper or a giant freaking teener of a bass. So look forward to days where I actually go out on the Delta and throw this. I'm super excited. Um, I do have one rod set up. Um, it's rated from four to six ounce swim baits, so it's an old Palmax swim bait rod that I've got that big Calcutta reel on. Um, but that's what I'll be throwing most of these baits on. I've got so you got the, the 250 slide swimmer, um, you've got the giant 10 inch triple trout. This thing is super cool looking. Um, I'm excited to throw that. You know, the, the nerve wracking thing is throwing such an expensive bait, especially since they're my dad's. Uh, my dad told me before I took him out, he said, hey, if you lose anything, you replace it. <laughs> and luckily in the video, you guys did see that I did actually lose one of my S waivers, but it was actually my S waiver, not his. So you got a big triple trout. You got the big, you know, 200 S waiver right here. Um, let's see what else we got. We got some smaller triple trouts. 
Um, this is the six inch and this is an eight inch. So you got those two guys, both different colors. I have no idea what these colors are. I'm going to have to do some more research on that. And I did chuck these around a little bit, um, but to be honest, I was super nervous um, about throwing them around. Didn't want to lose them. So I kind of stuck to that HUD and A rig and that, uh, that big triple trout all day. Got another HUD. This is a top hook. Um, this is uh, another eight inch and then a couple swim baits here and there, but just kind of wanted to show you guys just the setups and what I was throwing that day. Um, as you can see, it was unsuccessful. Had one bite all day. The bite was really tough. And, you know, I reached out to a few guys that were up at Comanche that day and they said it was really tough for them too. So I don't feel as bad, but there's definitely a lot for me to learn here. Um, and I'm gonna take it upon myself to do a little bit more research and really get out there and start throwing these big baits for you guys. Because I know a lot of guys catch big fish. Um, on these baits and it would be awesome to break my PB one day. Hopefully we can get on the Delta and do a couple videos like this where I just simply 100% dedicate to throwing big baits out there. It's going to be a huge learning curve for me and so I hope that you guys can follow along and, and learn while I learn, um, show you what works and show you what doesn't. But I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, I know it was hard to watch because there was no fish caught but you know I want to show you guys the ups and downs of fishing and you know um, not a lot of guys will post content on how bad their fishing day was or you know how little they know about a subject and I know very little about throwing big baits so just wanted to thank you guys for watching don't forget to tune in um, should have another video coming out here in another couple days I appreciate the view don't forget to like and subscribe follow all the stuff down below I link down um, you know different kind of gear and stuff that I use down below in the description but thank you guys I appreciate it. I remember any cash. <laughs>